Now, Greece is going through a severe climate crisis. Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis says the country is facing war in time of peace. During his annual speech, Mitsotakis announced fresh funding and state reforms. He had earlier faced criticism for his alleged poor handling of the fires and floods that struck Greece this summer. Prime Minister Mitsotakis said that his government will offer relief measures to those hit by natural disasters without risking the country's fiscal progress. He added that state coffers for natural disasters would be doubled to 600 million euros next year. Mr. Tuckers reiterated that public sector wages would be increased and the minimum monthly wage of 780 euros would be raised again from April 2024. He also outlined hirings of health care workers, first aid responders and firefighters, which were among his pre-election pledges. The Prime Minister's promises might revive the image of his newly elected government. The Prime Minister had postponed his annual speech on economic policy by a week to the 16th of September due to the impact of Storm Daniel. The storm swept through central Greece for three days, flooding cities and villages and turning the region into an inland sea. It killed 17 people. Hundreds of residents were airlifted or pulled out of flooded homes in lifeboats. Crops were washed away and tens of thousands of animals drowned. Earlier in August, deadly wildfires hit north of Greece. 28 people were killed in the fires, among them two firefighting pilots and 20 migrants in the Evros region. The deadly blaze followed violent flames that ravaged the tourist islands of Rhodes and Corfu in July, with thousands of evacuations offered. Meanwhile, wildfires and floods are expected to weigh on the economy, which has recently emerged from a decade-long debt crisis.